Leadership has been examined since humans began to roam the plains following wild herds and fishing our streams and oceans. Early forms of leadership focused on an informal network with subsistence and collective identity being at the core of these nomadic groups. As humans formed stronger bonds and developed more sophisticated methods for communication and interacting, leadership emerged as a driving force in organizations, societies, and nation-states. With its emergence over time, teachers, scholars, and aspiring students wanted to understand who would become a leader and who would be their followers. Leadership has been thoroughly studied, and thinking on leadership is almost as old as our identities as homo sapiens. We often see that leadership is compared and contrasted with the term management. However, the development of the term management is different. It can be understood as a response to the changing practices of industry at the height of the Industrial Revolution. Titans of industry utilize management as a practice to assist in creating more efficiencies in their factories and in their organizations. Management was then utilized by administrators in other sectors to assist in overseeing growing segments of economic and societal development and change. If leadership followed our human aspiration, management was a creation and application by leaders for more structure. Books, schools, and academic degrees have been dedicated to understanding management and heralding its arrival and its almost savior qualities. Today, management and leadership are terms that are sometimes used interchangeably. That type of usage blurs the lines between what a manager and a leader does in organizations and societies. Simply put, leaders are those who keep their eyes on the horizon. They might have a vision for the organization or develop it with others and then engage with people to follow that vision. Managers, on the other hand, plan and budget and keep their eyes on the bottom line. Leaders are often focused on supporting their employees to develop and expand their abilities, while managers are often focused on shaping and monitoring structures and boundaries for growth. Leaders inspire and motivate, while managers are asked to set expectations and create organization. Leaders engage in change, often advocating for substantial changes, while managers usually focus on maintaining stability and conformity. As you can see, both leaders and managers are important and vital to our organizations and to society. At first blush, it might seem that leaders and managers are different entities, people, offices, and roles, but that would be too simple of an explanation of these terms. There is a complexity to how management and leadership are formed, carried out, and executed. In fact, some scholars view management and leadership as integrated, where managers and leaders are constantly feeding off of each other and utilizing their skills and attributes in unison and for the common good. Other literature views leaders and managers to be one in the same, separated by the situation and needs of the followers. What we do know is that separating these terms or implying that leaders are more important than managers doesn't do justice to these important phenomena. As our organizations and societies change rapidly, we need to think about what this might mean for management and leadership. How does technology change the dynamic interactions of leaders and managers and the people they work with? How do norms and values influence who is viewed as a proper leader and manager in a certain context? How are terms like leader and manager relevant in organizational forms that are less hierarchical and more network-driven? How do they apply in organizations that try to work in an agile manner? We need to reevaluate how these terms are necessary for the 21st century. We should redefine these ideas and always view them as morphing and changing to fit what we demand of our organizations and society. We should think of these terms as building blocks to better each other 
and our performance and our outcomes.